Hello friends, welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host, Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Okay, so I'm gonna get right into it today, okay? Because before I forget stuff, okay? So I have been, uh, I don't wanna say doing research because it hasn't been research, but I have been looking at videos. I mean, I guess in a way it's type of research. It's like more or less indulging in my anxiety curiosities. Uh, so I, I came across these videos on YouTube of uh, patients in the 50s and 60s and 70s and the 80s. Like I, like it's like a radio station. The 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. <laughs> like across the board, I've been watching these videos, and all they are, they're people. They are psychiatrists that are talking to these anxiety patients about their anxiety, but a lot of times they're not set up about anxiety, it's about something else. They'll think that they have uh, either schizophrenia or they'll think they'll have um, you know, depression, whatever it is, they'll think they'll have something and I, and I can correlate those with uh, uh, how I am, how the, the people of Aaron's anxiety are and the people that reach out to me, uh, you guys. Um, and I can correlate some things together. And it's really interesting to see how they combat certain things and what they attribute certain things to. So let's just start by saying there's a myth out there, okay? And I wanna get this myth gone, okay? And <laughs> I have indulged in this myth myself. And I've said it, you go back to my videos and I've said it before. Sorry. I've said it before that uh, anxiety is because we've got too much going on and we are an analog person living in a digital world. I say that and I've said that quite a few times uh, in the course of the Aaron's anxiety. Uh, and I watched other people's videos that saying, well, you know, we're not supposed to deal with all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. Well, I can tell you right now, after looking at as many videos as I have so far and seeing what's going on, I don't think that's the case anymore, okay? I think that anxiety has been around for quite some time. Now, <laughs> you're gonna say, well, duh, Aaron, but let me hear me out. I think that anxiety problems and conditions and, 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 and neurotic situations have been around for a while, but they've been either miscategorized by something or they have not been addressed correctly. Now. Let's just say that anxiety has always been with us. We've needed it, yeah, you've heard the thing, well, the tiger in the bushes, yes. But that's not the problem that we're having with anxiety. The problem that we're having with anxiety is that there's no tiger in the bush and we're just responding to something that's not there. Uh, however, when I go check these videos out, we'll see these people that are having anxiety issues I mean full-blown the same things that we talk about they have depersonalization they didn't call it it back then they called it oh I can't feel like I feel like I'm not getting out of my own head uh, I feel like people don't understand how I'm feeling and I'm, I'm just scared all the time yada yada okay so we can agree that anxiety has been around for a real long time but there's something that I think it's overlooked and it's the fact that mental health we are so lucky to live in the time that we are with mental health because I mean I've talked to my doctor about mental health and he was saying that if we were having you know I was telling him about my depersonalization and my high anxiety and things like that and he was like honestly if we were having this conversation back in the 50s he goes I would just as a doctor would admit you into the hospital into a mental hospital and go from there and that terrified me I was like what because you know we had this bad misnomer of mental hospitals they're actually a fine place to be if you've ever visited one, uh, visited one they're actually really nice it's definitely not like they, the people have hyped them up to be our whole lives but just the fact that he would send me there over something like this I was like I'm not crazy I'm not I'm not crazy I'm fine right well back in the day that's what they would do. They would they would put you away for a while, talk to you, hope you get better, see what they can do, and that was the best that they had of the time. Sorry, this road is horrible. Uh, that was the best that they had of that time. So they were dealing with it. So it was kind of one of those things, don't ask, don't tell. We're just gonna brush it off to the side. We're not gonna talk about it. Oh, did you hear about Bill? Yeah, he went crazy. You know what I mean? That's what they would do to you. Whereas nowadays we can go, oh, you're having anxiety. You're having these uh, 
you're having these mild panic attacks or these big panic attacks and you're not having them for absolutely no reason. Well, here's why. There's a serotonin, blah, 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 blah. You've heard all the stuff before. Well, I went back even further and I wasn't doing it for anxiety at this point. I went back into uh, the Great Depression, okay? And I was watching these stories about orphans and how how many orphans there was in 1929 because people couldn't afford to take care of their babies but they kept saying over and over and over that oh my dad left my mom couldn't handle it or my dad died in the war my mom couldn't handle it she had a nervous breakdown she went crazy she went this she went that and then thence kids go to the orphanage but think about it for a second say you're a wife or a mother and your husband goes off to war he dies 10 years later boom stock market crashes you're doing your best you can with your kids you're not making any money everybody's freaking out people are moving out into the roads you want what's best for your kids you can't quite take it anymore your brain just like my brain did when I kept having panic attacks your brain will eventually protect you and it will go into fight or flight and if that don't work then it's going into depersonalization now imagine you're in 1929 or 1930 and you're saying hey uh, I'm not sure what's going on with me all I know is I feel super weird and I don't feel like myself and I think I'm about to snap because we've all had that moment where you feel like you're about to snap I like I think I'm gonna go crazy any minute now right <laughs> if I'm not there already imagine that and so they would say, well, why don't we take the boys or the kids and we'll drop them off. And that happened a lot. That is anxiety, my friends. It was anxiety, depression, generalized anxieties or panic attacks, things like that. And they said, oh, well, she snapped. No, she, well, she did, but, <laughs> but in a way that was totally reversible if we would have had the information and, and the knowledge at the time. So what I'm saying is, in a nutshell, this is crazy, okay? I'm, we've had anxiety for so long and only recently have we been able to really look at it, understand it, and uh, come up with uh, situations to get over it and get outside of it and heal and heal from it is the big one. And that's what we're doing here at Aaron's Anxiety. And I was thinking, man, I wish, so much I wish that we could have these people, uh, yeah, if I could just get these information, if I had a time machine, Ooh, if I had a time machine, we could fix them all. <laughs> but we don't. What we can do is we can focus on the present, focus on the people now, and uh, just be so incredibly thankful that we live in the time that we do of medicine, of doctor's better understanding, of therapeutic ways to get over anxiety and get through anxiety and recover. Okay, that's what it's all about is the recovery from anxiety. And that's why I love this channel. <laughs> But yeah, so check those videos out I mean, if you want to. If you feel like you're going to be triggered by them, because uh, anything saying schizophrenia used to trigger me all the time. I was terrified I had it and I didn't. Um, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it because it would be the same as like, you know, Google, you know, oh, I'm having chest pains. You know what I mean? It's going to come out with, oh, you're dying. You're dying. No, no, no. You know what I mean? All that stuff. Don't do that, okay? You're not dying. You're fine. You have anxiety, okay, friends? So I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Share it with somebody if you find it helpful, if you think it can help others. And uh, subscribe. Absolutely subscribe. And if you haven't already, join us on the Aaron's Anxiety Family Facebook. And until next time, friends, I'm Aaron. You're awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.